Hi Luis, what do you know about Cedar Park? Well, Jared, Cedar Park is actually one of my favorite spots. I mean, we're right here uh, in about you know, 17 minutes from downtown, downtown Austin. We're in an established community, very friendly suburb, um, uh, family friendly suburb, I'm sorry. Very family friendly. Yeah. <laughs> family friendly suburb. Um, right now we're here at Brushy Creek Lake Park, which is a great spot for uh, all sorts of things. I mean, you have the lake right here, fishing, lots of fishing piers, walking trails, playgrounds, uh, kid and dog friendly. And, you know, definitely, I think, a great spot uh, to bring the whole family over. Yeah, and it's just really, I mean, it's a huge park, miles and miles of these trails. If, you, if we sit here long enough, you'll see bikes going by, people running. If you look out on the water, there's kayaks. I don't know if you can see them. Kayaks out there right now. You can fish out there. You can fish off the pier here. I mean, just tons to do. And a little sneak peek of something I'm going to show you later in the video. You got a plane taking off right there. So there's a hint for something I want to show y'all later that I don't, I don't see a lot of people talking about. But lots of stuff here in Cedar Park and some things that I don't think you might expect. Now, before we get too deep into the video, you may want to know where is Cedar Park? What's it close to? Now, we did mention uh, it's about 17, maybe 20 minutes or so from downtown. Uh, really it could close. be a little longer depending on traffic if you get the wrong time of day, but uh, you can get down there. But what else is here close to Cedar Park? Awesome. Yeah, so I mean here in Cedar Park, we're just northwest of Austin, Texas. I mean, and we're really close to Lake Travis, a really hot spot right now in the summertime. If you want to be out there on your boat. Uh, just east of us, you have Brown Rock. I mean, we've covered Brown Rock before. There's tons of things to do there. Uh, just, you know, maybe 10 minutes from the, from the domain. Uh, we've all, we've covered the domain before, a lot of uh, shopping and eating there as well, and just entertainment. Yeah, and it's kind of like a, like a second downtown for yeah. Austin too. So you don't, not just the shopping and the, the entertainment, you've got like your, your nightlife stuff there, mm -hmm. uh, on the street there. It's kind of like a, you don't really have that a lot right, here. You don't really, not here. I mean, that's the thing in Cedar Park, like you mentioned, it's, it is a very, it, it, it comes off with a very family oriented feel mm -hmm. and with that comes not a lot of nightlife yeah. but you can get down to the domain for that uh, you can get over to round rock for that pretty easily mm -hmm. if you want to go out have you a date night yeah have you just a good time out you can do that not too far away um, and then the shopping there too but you really don't have to go outside of cedar park for shopping you've yeah, got no shortage of shopping here you know it is it's just about the destination really for shopping you've got the Whitestone area where it's everything you'd want, you know, your day-to-day -day stuff, your Target, your Costco, all your big box stores. I feel like you have all your, all your main retailers, all your chain restaurants here. Uh, like you said, there's no shortage of it here in Cedar Park. However, if you want to go more, like a, more, if you want more authenticity, then you might have to go out. Uh, but the, the good thing about it is that we're not far from, from everything. We're really close to it all. And I'd say that just the final thing is we're actually not too far from the country either. If you yeah. want to go out into the country, we'll probably cover Liberty Hill, some of, some of those areas that are probably not as established as Cedar Park. Uh, that are in the up and, up and coming. So yeah, yeah. I, that way. I, I love Cedar Park. It's just so close to it all. You get out in the hills, you get you some acreage maybe if that's what you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, you go out and enjoy Lake Travis. Lake Travis, not that far away. Maybe it's about 15 or so minutes over to Lake Travis. So uh, let's have you some good, if you don't, if you want a little bit bigger of a lake than you got here at yeah, this, Creek. It's just for fishing. This is, <laughs> this is for fishing. Maybe get a little kayak out here. Yeah, you if you want to get on a boat, you have to get out. Yeah, no to Lake no Travis. motorized boats, I believe. You can get on here in a kayak all you want to. Mm -hmm. um, but back to when you get your home here in Cedar Park, getting up, up and down through town, your main drive really through town is 183. And that split, you've got the 183, which runs through all the red lights. But you've got all your businesses there. They've actually come up with the Bell District there along 183. But then you've got the 183A toll road, which is the fast way. It's the fast way to get up and down. You want to go to Leander, Liberty Hill, you go down to Austin. But it's going to cost you. <laughs> it's going to cost you. So tolls, I mean, they're, I mean, if you look at it once, it's not that expensive. It's a few cents, maybe a dollar or two. But I mean, if you get on it frequently, it's going to add up. Those tolls add up throughout the month. So we, I would recommend getting yourself a text tag, text tag. They are the best way to kind of just save you some money if you know you're going to be getting on that toll, you know, daily or you know a few times a week. 
uh, because otherwise those tolls can add up. Yeah, and uh, there's a lot of tolls obviously here yeah. on, I mean, in Cedar Park. You live in Cedar Park, I think you're gonna be on that a pretty good bit, even if you try to avoid it most of the time. But uh, just getting around up and down, it's having the Texas tag is definitely gonna be worth it. And, it, and two, I like to mention, if you travel a lot, Cedar Park is not close to the main airport here in Austin, the, the big international airport. It's down on the southeast side. We're up on the northwest side mm -hmm. of the Austin Metro. Austin. So if you go straight down through Austin, it's gonna take you a little while to get there, especially if it's traffic, but you can get down on that 183, three toll over to uh, the, the 45 toll, which runs on the south side of Cedar Park. And that'll get you over to the east side and then you get down and stay on the tolls pretty much the whole way. And uh, you know, again, if you're on all the time, that's gonna add up. But if you just need, you know, hey, we're going out of town, we need to get to the airport, it's gonna be more than worth it for what you're gonna spend on that. The time you, you save make to get your, around. You make it to your flight on time, let's say that. Hey y'all, real quick, you wanna see more videos like this where we're showing you all around Cedar Park, including cool spots like this one that you'll see later in this video. Make sure you get down there, hit the subscribe button and click the bell. That way you get notified when our new video's coming out. I promise you, you don't wanna miss it. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I do have one thing that is really unique as far as neighborhoods go, and that is breakaway. You see the, uh, the airplanes here. You have a neighborhood here it's got an airstrip. That's, that's so cool. It's like you can, your your backyard literally backs up to the airstrip. Yeah. There's even one house that starts at the beginning of the airstrip. Which yeah, is, yeah uh, right at the end of you the runway. Yeah. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Would you want to live right off the edge of the end of the runway? I don't know. I'd love to live on the sides. Mm -hmm. You know, if you like, let me know. Are you a pilot? You got your, your private pilot license? Um, I'm wanting to get mine. And uh, it'd be cool living that'd on be, the That'd be awesome yeah. living in one of these neighborhoods. It'd be cool to live on the sides, but uh, the houses in here, they're big, nice houses. You got, I don't know, acre, at least an acre, at maybe least a couple an acre acres. On just about every one. Yeah, so this neighborhood is right here off of Russian Creek and West Palmer Lane. Most of these homes are million dollar homes. And if you drive through here, you'll you'll see why. But uh, yeah, I think that's one of the, the main thing about them is that they back up to to the airstrip and airwave where you don't, if you have your partner, if you, you have to, I read this, that you have to uh, sign up on their, uh, on their on their association and you can just take off on your on your plane there you go this is it you're a pilot break away but if you're not a pilot or if you, you're not into general aviation you don't like the sound of planes flying around no hoa yeah oh yeah no hoa that's no nice HOA. too if your house sits on if it's the, the breakaway if subdivision it's on breakaway because there's another subdivision kind of right there next to it mm -hmm. uh speaking of other subdivisions like i said you don't need a runway uh -huh. in your backyard <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe you want something a little more low-key I mean, if that is you looking for maybe a little more low-key neighborhood uh, but you still want some amenities we got the uh the neighborhood pool here got a little playground this is creek view is where we are now and um pretty nice little spot and uh, reasonable prices too it is so pr price ranges range you know anywhere from mid fours to mid sixes uh the square footage on some of these houses you know you know between two thousand to three thousand so a good range and variety uh like you said right off of Vista Ridge, Vista yeah. Ridge, right across from us. Um, yeah. So you've heard about the school right yeah, here? Yeah, heard about the schools there. And, and that's, you know, you are in a great location here in this neighborhood. We're still not very far from the Brush Creek Park. True. Where you've got all the shopping all the here. Shopping, all the and then, And then, yeah, the, the Vista Ridge High School, part of Leander ISD, uh, brings up here in Cedar Park. You are part of Leander. Leander is the town directly to the north of Cedar Park, but the, the school district covers both. And according to niche.com, a plus. It's oh. A plus and it's the number 13 That's in the entire state of Texas. Wow. Here, so you can kind of rest assured. It's, and Texas is huge, so that's, yes. <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's a good feature right there. I, this, is, this is me talking. If you're at the top of Texas, mm -hmm. you're pretty close to the top of, of everything, I, yeah. I, I feel like. Now, if you like this neighborhood and the other one we looked at, maybe you want to be in that Leander top rated school district. Uh, you don't just need to watch this video. You need to take that one step further. Call, text, email, anything it takes for you to get a hold of us so we can get you moved out here to Cedar Park or anywhere in the ATX. Now you do have some great entertainment options in Cedar Park, like the HEB Center where you can catch a, a Austin Spurs game. Maybe some and, hockey uh, games. Some hockey, maybe some... Uh, some uh, catch the rodeo there too. Rodeo, musicals, all kinds of stuff. But Concert, yeah. on a more daily basis, to get out a little recreation activity even indoors you got this place here the crossover how, how would you describe this place think of it like a like a mall but for like sports wellness and entertainment all packed in one so obviously there's no memberships here but i mean they have all sorts of sports activities you have soccer fields 
pickleball, all this outdoors, uh, even playgrounds for the kids, and a lot of things to do inside as well, like Chapel Ice is inside. They have some ice skating, uh, they have some restaurants inside, some arcade. Yeah, you got the, rest, the restaurant opens up here at the field house, which is where you can rent, you can rent all these mm -hmm. courts. Um, we got a bar in there too. Yeah. Open up at two o'clock today. We came a little too early, but uh, <laughs> you got that. You got the gym, the ice rink here. They had an add up. I thought this was funny. You can beat the heat every degree over a hundred dollars, or every degree over a hundred degrees outside a is a dollar off. off. It's twelve dollars admission. So if you ever catch a hundred twelve degree day, you get in there and ice skate for free. <laughs> for free. If you do that. But man, it's a really cool spot. I'm glad we we checked it out today. I've never been here before. Uh, heard about it. I read about and, it when uh, it first opened, so it's been open for about a year or so now. But uh, yeah, we actually actually came in here right now and it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think so, you guys should check it out. So adults, kids, families, everybody alike, I think you can find some fun stuff to do here. And uh, like I said, the indoor on those hot days, you don't have to be out here, you can actually go inside. And I didn't say there were zero unique local spots here in Cedar Park. I think this one here, it's a good one. It's the good lot and um, a lot to offer here food trucks food trucks we i got. mean we have four we have four of them here today one of them is closed the one i wanted to try four brothers of course venezuelan food if you're been to venezuelan food i mean don't, that, don't come on a monday don't come on a monday i guess but uh yeah definitely some good food options here yeah. i got some chicken what you get i got we, we both got chicken you got okay. some yeah. some kind of greek skewers i got korean fried chicken from the rice is right yep. um i like their uh Shout out to the rice is right. I, I like your uh, your design concept. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. But out here you got the pavilion back here. There's a bar up there. You got a lot of different, uh, a lot of local beers, different beers you can try in there. And uh, you can sit up under there. They got TV screens. They got the fans. They got the misters like they do out here. Mm -hmm. Out here on the turf, big area. They'll bring out yard games out here sometimes too. You come here in the evening. It looks like it's a, it'd be a cool atmosphere at night yeah. too. They got lights and everything. So yeah, it's, if you are in the neighborhood and want to come out and get some food, uh, it's a dog friendly park. It's a kid friendly area friendly, as well. So kid friendly. Yeah. Yeah, everything's out here. But you know what? I think we're going to enjoy this. If you're liking Cedar Park, you want to know how to get around, maybe you're considering some other areas here in the, uh, the Austin Metro, uh, check out this video. I'm going to explain all this, the tolls and everything else, help you get around uh, when you get here. So check that out. We'll see you there. Surprise, we're back for a, a quick food review of the food here. The rice is right, the Korean fried chicken. This is delicious. I'm gonna have to get a solid nine. What about yours? All right, so I'd say 10 is probably the best thing I've ever had, so this is a 9.5. It is still pretty good. Really good, there's ATX, the rice is right. Y'all hit it out of the park. <laughs>